Welcome back everyone, Criminal Archer here. Time for some more RimWorld. This is not RimWorld, this is Project Zomboid. Silly me, getting my games mixed up. Uh, so we're, you know, we've just been clearing things out a little bit. I think we were intending to stay here. I think that was the plan. I think that's why I'm standing in this house. Uh, so let's put this, uh, some of this food away, shall we? Things that'll go bad. We're, uh, we're looting the area near the, the prison, but not actually in the prison, because we need to get a little bit more uh, set, a little bit more items and, and whatnot to be ready to go when we get to the... Why, am I, why do I have socks? They must have come with the bag. Um, because right now we're not really strong enough, because the prison is kind of ridiculous. We do have some shotgun shells, but I don't think we actually have a shotgun to go with those shotgun shells. Maybe we do? I don't remember. Not in that bag, we don't. Let's eat this. Oh, I don't see a shotgun. It's hard to remember. <laughs> Been through too many lives recently. Get them all kind of mixed up in my brain. Screwdriver. Put that away. Put these guys away. Put this duct tape away. It's kind of useless. There's not much of it. Don't need that vest. Put some of this away. What else do we want to put away? And put one of these whiskey bottles away, and I suppose we should actually uh, um, turn the other one into a Molotov. That would probably be the intelligent thing to do. I guess that's probably fine. We can carry around the rest of this junk. It's probably more than uh, yeah, we have five things of. Five things of chips. We don't need to be carrying around five things of chips. Or this pepper. Or this garbage bag. Or several of these books. These books. Hold on to carpentry because I'm going to read that one. That's a, That'll be our downtime book when we're trying to kill some time. Like right now when we're going to go to sleep soon. So we're just going to go over here. We should probably turn this TV off so it doesn't attract too much attention. And then we'll read our book. Read book. Oh, that's right. We found and then uh, spiked a baseball bat. I forgot about that. So let's uh, let's just do some fast forwarding here. Somebody was saying me that I can repair this with nails. Only has a potential a uh, ten percent gain. That's not too bad. We should probably do that because that spiked baseball bat's not in the best shape. Apparently looking at that slowed my time down, which is kind of interesting. We'll go to page like 50 probably. 60 maybe. It's getting kind of late, so I don't want to go too late. Yep, there's all that stuff showing up. So where are these nails? I had some nails. There you go. Let's repair this. I do it again. One more time. Cool. All right, let's sleep. I'll worry about eating in the morning. I don't know how long he's gonna sleep. He wasn't super tired. No, that's a respectable time. Six fifty. It's like a normal person time to get up in the morning. Put this book away. Let's actually take all this stuff out of this other bag and put it in here. Probably shouldn't carry these shotgun shells around. Actually, you know what we could use doing, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. Where's that? You can't make sheet ropes out of anything but actual sheets, right? It's not a thing. I seem to remember that being a thing. Yeah, we won't worry about it then. I was gonna make a, a sheet rope going out the window here, so it would help me remember where I was, because <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to forget. Alright, so let's... I guess we can hang out with a knife for now until we need uh, need the more oomph of, of a stronger weapon. Alright, so we have not actually gone into these other rooms. That's a beauty salon. It usually doesn't have anything. Chips. 
be one of those ones that whatever reason doesn't actually show that there's stuff on the counters. Where's that? I just saw chips. More chips. We can be play some more Dr. Oids. I know it's droids, but it kind of looks like there's a period at the end of that. I like the idea of it being called Dr. Oids better. I'm just gonna eat this cabbage for breakfast. Since I'm standing right here. Also this ice cream. Ice cream for breakfast, right? Gotta have a little bit of joy in the zombie apocalypse. Ice cream for breakfast is a small price to pay, I think. I'll leave those orange sodas for now. Does this go into the... Oh, it does go into this other room. This isn't a beauty salon. It's like a dentist's office. Oh, where'd you go? Unless it's supposed to be like massage beds. Oh, you can craft sheet rope. Yeah, let's do that. It's a decent thing to have around is some sheet rope. You never know when you might need to make a quick escape out a window. Eyes makeup. Yeah, I guess that's supposed to be like a massage table. Alright, what else is going on back here? Alright, we did not actually search this, so let's see. Pull, pull Q and thread. I feel like I should take the thread. I can't say I've ever really... I have needed thread before, but I've never actually used thread before. <laughs> So I have a needed thread and then not been able to get it when I needed it. Alright, what else we got? This area is a bank, looks like. And we got a random office with a lot of broken desks. This is just a alleyway, okay. So another area upstairs here. A lot of open doors. I'll look for zombies first before I worry about anything else. Duffel bag. Sheet. Alright, what's on the shelf? First aid for beginners. Do I have that book? I might have that book. I feel like I have some beginner's book that starts with F, but it might be foraging. Can't remember. My old, broken down old brain is not working so great today. Butter knife, I can leave that behind. We'll take these. Actually, I won't take the Rimulod. What else you got? Oh, there's a lot of food in here. Full? Really? Okay. I don't need any of this stuff. I do need all this though. I need all the foods. All of them. Except for the things that I decided to leave behind. <laughs> Electricity for beginners. Farming magazine I already read. No zombies. Bolt and shoes. Foraging, fishing. Oh, fishing for beginners. That could also be what I'm what I have. I don't think it is though. I usually don't even bother to pick that book up. And with as limited space as we had at the time, I feel like I wouldn't have picked that up. Canned beef, cereal, some rounds. So you should take some seeds too. At some point we're gonna need to do that. Salt. Uh, yeah, garbage bag. Why not? I know I just I just didn't take one of those bottles and now I'm taking one of those bottles, but whatever. Sue me. I'm fickle. Bath towel and sheet. I should probably check my water bottles. Could probably use refilling. Radio.
take these cooking pots, fill them with water. Sugar, tuna, might be able to do some canning. Frozen burger, flour. I have a can opener. I gotta have a can opener, right? Well, I have two now. All right, so that's all that there's uh, is up here. Oh, what's right now? Is this a coffee shop or something? What's this big building? This looks like a town hall. I think it is a town hall. Looks so much like one that it is. I like this new area. Good work, Indie Stone. Almost got nailed there. Keys in a sweater. More food, man. I don't need any more food right now. Just gonna eat all this all this stuff. Let's fill our water bottle over here too. It's gotta be getting close to empty. Bathrooms? Yeah. What's this room? Like a meeting room? Nothing in there that's got anything in it. Ooh, these are like locked doors. Locked doors inside of a building? That never happens. Nails, duct tape, more nails, more nails. Right, um, let me go back to that zombie that had a key. I doubt that it's the useful key because the keys that they they drop, I feel like, are never the useful keys. But we'll pick it up anyways and check. I already checked all that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I assume that they would show in the list if I could use them, but I can't. I don't really look at the rest of this building. We might have to break in. Let's do the ground floor first before we go upstairs. It's got a courtroom. I object. That's all I know about courts. Storage room. Sort of keep the chairs. Another bathroom, man. Somebody has a private bathroom. Oh, it's the judge. It's the judge's private bathroom. Well, it's possibly this other judge as well. They share it. Sorry, a little crazy with my zooming in and out and zooming out right there. That, that's just this, right? Yes, that's that. Anything to this side. And we're back in here. That's the jury's room. 12 angry men. We can do 12 angry men. Interrogation room, maybe. All right, let's start in this corner. Work our way around. Just offices. I'm not expecting much up here, other than possibly in that. Uh, whoa, um, that locked area. Hey, well that makes it all better. Welcome to the party, my friend. Said some cake in celebration. We could have that. We could have had that cake a la mode. I didn't think about it in time. It's like a break room, I guess. I'm not even gonna bother looking at these desks. Basically, almost never have anything. Now I know we have expert or first aid for beginners, because I agonized over it for a while. Yeah, yeah. Bookshelves. Trapping. Farming. Pretty sure I don't have trapping. Might have farming, but I guess we'll take it. I need to keep a list. Like a list right next to me on the table where I can just like mark things off as I find them. Because I can never remember. <laughs> it's a problem. Crowbars. Crowbars. 
Fox O'Neill's a screwdriver. Yeah, we'll take the box. Why not? Another courtroom. Smaller one. For less high profile cases. Bathroom. Uh, second bathroom. Hmm. Also, but also. Case room. Case room. That's what they're calling them now. Classroom? Is that another break room? A lot of break rooms in this building. Carpentry, got that, got that. Right, don't need any of that. So. Oh, there's a lot of things in here. I'm not going to go through all this. Because it's all useless, most likely. Is that everything? It seems to be everything. It's the back staircase. Okay, so I'm gonna go out this way. Because there was a... To the locked room... Well, for one thing, there's an exterior door. Which is not open, but it could have been. And there's a... And there's a window. <laughs> oh, these are also locked. They are, however, just interrogation rooms. Which thus makes them... Pointless. What is this? There's a big fence around it. Police station. Now we're talking. Police stations often have armories. And the door's open. That's nice. It's very considerate of them. Seems to be almost the exact same layout as the, uh, Oh, I take that back. Never mind. I'm going to say the same layout as, as the Muldrow police station, but it actually seems to be slightly different. Bathroom. Bathroom. Oh, thing broke. I suppose anyone. Nope, nobody wants to contribute a new, new weapon to my cause right there. We'll equip this primary. Let's put this bat away. I don't really sure. We'll... Oh, can't fit it in either one at this point. Okay. Put the nails away. We can eat. Uh, not to eat the soup. There you go. That'll work. Means if we find an armory, anything we pick up is going to be um, over encumbrances, but that's fine. By the way, I think we used our key back there earlier. By the way, I think I heard it click when we op tried to open one of those doors. Could be wrong. Plow's book. I bet we haven't found a spiffo. That would be considered good luck in my book. Oh, those little toilet closets. Interrogation. Oh, no, not interrogation room. Security room. Oh, nothing down here. So, is this another bathroom? Yeah, it's the, some other locker room. One's men's, one's women's. Alright. Comic book might not have been a terrible thing to try to pick up, but I'll leave it be. Where am I? I'm lost. Getting caught on all the doors here. It's another bathroom. Man, there's a lot of bathrooms at this police station. Man. Stupid locked doors. Where'd you come from? Police. Nothing. More food I don't need. Alright, so it doesn't look like we're going to find any of the uh, keys that I would like to find. But that doesn't stop us. We have, we have the key known as a uh, fireman's axe. <laughs> so let's just get that out. 
Apparently not this bag. Where's the X? Did I not pick it up? Oh, there it is. Why is it at the bottom? Oh, because I'm I'm by type instead of name. Okay. That's confusing. Unnecessarily so. There we go. Man, double locked doors. Got to knock down both of these. Get our butter knife back out here. Equip this secondary. Put our axe away. Shotgun, walkie talkie. Just evaluating evaluating what we have here first. Shotgun shells. Three out eight ammo. Hiking bag. Another shotgun. Pistol. That's not terrible. Not great. Let's take this, which I guess we're just going to have to carry because I don't think we can put it in one of our bags at this point. So you know what? This will probably save a little bit of weight. Put that in one hand. Still overloaded. Seventeen seventy four. I don't think we're ever gonna get that down any further. All right, it just means we need to head back and drop off all our junk. Glad we found that. That's good. Got a few. Got some shotgun shells, which would be helpful when we're trying to take the prison. Found some stuff. It's a good day. Did we miss the name of this place when we were going? What is it called? Oh, no, I want to see the name of it. Mama Fudgington's. Hmm. Sounds like a place I'd like to go. All right. Um, so I'm going to stop here for today. See you guys later. Thanks so much.